and I'm here now with Energy Outlook Advisors Managing Director Anas Al Haji. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, when we look at the outlooks here, and we look at the IEA and the OPEC outlook, and I know you spend a lot of time looking at the data and looking at the numbers from all sources, but how important are these outlooks for you? Uh, they are extremely important because at least you want to know what people are thinking. And at the same time, you want to know what are the methodology they used and what are the uh, numbers they are basing their forecast on uh, so you know how credible these forecasts are. So the, in this case, the exchange of information becomes extremely important through the IEF and other organizations to really figure out how, what is the best way to look at the future. And of course, we look at those numbers, and you look at them, but many other colleagues, but we had a very, very diverse group of people here from around the world, from different sectors too. Again, how important is it that that diversity, I guess, feeds into everybody's opinion as well? Well, that's the beauty of it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, we have many people from academic background. That's really what is academia is about, right? And in business, you need to get all the information to make an informed decision for your investment. So whether you are talking about investment, you are talking about academia, or you are talking about policy making, this information and the flow of information and the interaction of this information becomes uh, very, uh, very important in this case. Uh, and uh, to put it differently, our industry, especially the oil industry, oil, oil and gas industry, is based on natural resources. But those natural resources will have no value if we are not going to exchange that information and, and benefit from each other and benefit from the knowledge and the diverse background of each other to figure out what we need to do in the future. Now, you've been covering this market for quite a while too. Just bring me you know, back a little bit in terms of how, how things have shifted here. I would appear there's a lot more information out there, there's a bit more transparency in the market, and I guess this exchange of dialogue to a bit more openness, particularly between OPEC and the International Energy Agency. Is this also helping you know, key players like you in the industry? Yes, you are absolutely correct, but on the other side, we have a serious problem. That's why a forum, a forum like this is very important. With the new uh, IT technology, with the social media, with all this going on, we have what we call circular information, which is one source of information. It circles throughout the world, and people think it came from different sources. Well, this is here, a forum like this, provide the real sources and the real diversity, while the social media basically is exactly the opposite. It's leading just to one uniform piece of information being circulated throughout. So circular information is becoming a dangerous problem for us. And this dialogue here becomes very important because we have the original people, the original idea, the original information. But of course, you're, I know you're a big influencer on social media when it comes to the energy sector. So again, you can take this information then and hopefully put it out there as well to your followers to put them right. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And this is where uh, followers on the internet or whether on Twitter or any other form of social media, especially those who are traders, who are investors, etc. Those are smart people. And what they want, they don't want a bone to play with. They want a lot of meat on the bone. And this circular information basically can fool them in the beginning, but it's not going to last for long. And they need the real information. Real information comes from events like the one we are in today. Now, when we look at the market at the moment, give us a bit of a health check on the market, uh, particularly from your uh, viewpoint from the United States. Well, we have uh, several problems right now. I think the shale industry is completely misunderstood, although it's nine years old, ten years old, but it's completely misunderstood, especially in this part of the world, especially in Europe. And that misunderstanding of the shale industry is causing all the chaos and all this dispute among, uh, among experts. I think the shale industry, industry's problem, the demand side, is not the supply side. And people are talking about this massive influx of production coming out of the United States, but we are talking here about light, sweet, crude. And light, sweet, crude, you get only few products out of it. The future demand is on the heavier side, not on the lighter side. So really what's going to cap the supply in this case is going to be the demand, it's not going to be the supply. And this is probably, you've seen it in the discussion yesterday, everyone was talking about supply, but it's not really about supply anymore. We already done the technology, we have the knowledge on the supply side. This is not the big issue. The big issue now is on the demand side. And I think this is the biggest problem for the market in the coming years. So all, all crudes are not created equally, basically, is the message. Crude quality matters, that's for the bottom line. Now, uh, the role of the International Energy Forum, again, you know, you've been involved in this industry, in the sector for a long time. 
how do you see their role, particularly when it comes to that producer-consumer dialogue? Well, historically, we have this serious problem where we have OPEC on one side and the IEA on the other side. This is this represents consumers, this represents producers, and the the day it was established, basically in 1974, I'm talking about the IEA, it was established basically as the enemy of OPEC. Okay, and they were able to transform that to be friends, to understand each other, to know each other other's position. So I think it, it plays a major role in this case because you brought in two enemies. Okay, and now they are friends and they are talking to each other and they are exchanging information, etc. Super. Well, long it may continue, I hope. Take care. Thank you so much for taking the Thank time. You. Thanks.